So today we're getting ready to put some new tires on our old work truck here and I have a tire machine but I don't have a tire balancer and I was trying to work out the logistics of mounting them and then taking them down and having them balanced and it just seemed like a like a it was going to be a pain in the butt. So I thought you know when I worked on semis we had balance beads and you know we'd put them mostly in the steer tires but some guys ran them in all their tires and they were a bead like this that is used to balance the tire dynamically I guess as you're driving down the road they balance it every time you start rolling again so my thought is for about half the cost of getting the lifetime balancing at a tire store I could buy these and I don't know if they'll work in a passenger car tire I think they had good results in the semis so we're gonna try them I got these on Amazon and we'll throw a link in the description for them so I'm gonna get all these tires mounted and put on the truck and we're gonna go for a ride and see if we have any tire vibrations with these okay so this is tire number four so I think I have a method that works pretty good anyway so what are we using we're using checkered flag platinum level tire balancing beads and for my truck based on the tire size I needed six ounces of beads so on Amber's Jeep it's got bigger tires it needs eight ounces of beads there's a there's on the the four tire beads .com, there's a chart and we'll link the six and the eight ounce below but verify that that works for your vehicle so what I found works best for me is I go ahead and get the tire lubed up <clears throat> and put the inside bead on now on their website they say that even if you get a little moisture in there it doesn't matter it won't affect these beads I'm not I don't think I have enough soap on there to get any moisture in there once I get the tire on there I take the bag and I cut it open and I cut it open so that you don't end up with a pocket up there that'll catch your tire beads as you put them in there then I lift this side up that it's going to be the low side and I reach right down in there and pour the beads in there and then they'll stay in that pocket and that's going to be the low side of the tire as we mount this tire so then we just go ahead pop the tire on then we air it up that's all there is to mounting them I just I saw something that's crazy and I didn't think this even happened anymore you can't see it right now these these tires are made in the USA I didn't think any tires are made in the USA anymore but I'm gonna plug them they're absolutely my favorite 10 ply tire for like a three-quarter ton or a one ton pickup um, I they ride better they're quieter they last longer but that's been my experience uh, we'll also throw a link for these in the description because Amazon is the cheapest place I found to buy them I, I absolutely love them and they're just BFG commercial TA2s they're uh, they're amazing in my opinion all right I'm gonna get this one all mounted up and then uh, tomorrow morning we're gonna take this for a test drive and we'll bring you guys along and see just well I guess I'm gonna say just how good it rides but we'll see if the tires are, are balanced and if we have any tire shakes okay so this will be our first time on pavement and going over three miles an hour with these new tires and the balance beads so you guys are going to get our first reactions to how how well the balance beads are balancing these tires i'm just going to speed limit here is 45 so we're going to run it up to 45 and we'll see the balance beads should work somewhere around 40 miles an hour is there or thir sorry, 30 miles an hour is where they start to actually work. And so that's 45 miles an hour right there. I mean, I don't feel any kind of vibration whatsoever. Um, yeah, so this isn't a real good test. Uh, we're going to uh, go a little ways further. We're running some errands this morning. We're going to go down and when we hit the interstate, uh, speed limit 70 there we'll run it up to 70 and we'll see how they feel at 70. all right so this isn't the best place for the balancing portion of this because i don't know if you'd be able to fill an out of balance tire but i'm gonna have amber put the camera on the road here all these bridge joints and this is a testament to the tires not the balance beads but you can't hardly even feel 
all these bridge joints. I mean, this is a concrete road and it's it's rough and it's bumpy, but the tires can't account for all that. But I just want to plug these BFG tires. They are so good at absorbing those small, like the cracks and stuff in the road. With the old tires that were on this thing and they were 10 plies, they just, in every one of these bridge joints just jarred your teeth every time you hit one. And with these tires, they're just, I, and this video wasn't supposed to be about the tires, but I, I just absolutely love these BFT commercial TAs. And uh, like I said, we'll throw a link in the description for these. They're 235 85s on this truck, but you have to get the, the size you need for yours. But we're running about 65 miles an hour and the road's starting to smooth out and we have absolutely zero tire vibration. Uh, I'm going to say that those balance beats are absolutely balancing these tires and, and like I said there's zero tire vibration. The road's about to get pretty smooth here so we'll be able to get a good look at I don't really, I'm not feeling any vibrations at all. I feel like this ride's as good as your Magnum. <laughs> Uh, that's ball, not saying like a lot scary. because the <laughs> Magnum had those low profile tires on it and it did not like the bridge joints or anything else either but yeah I'm I'm really happy with the balance beats I would definitely recommend them as long as you get the right size for the tires you need and yeah I hope you guys got something out of it uh, if you were on the fence about using the tire beads I would say definitely give them a try they worked for us see you soon